Well, okay, moving on to this our next it, story. Anna, yeah, this that's, is it. And it's a good story. When Terry Fox began his Marathon of Hope in 1980, he sparked a movement that's still going strong, raising millions of dollars for cancer research. But he also changed the face of athletic prosthetics. And now, a prosthetic technician in Charlottetown has recreated Terry's iconic artificial leg to show how far the technology has come. Here's CTV's Cami Kepke. It's been 37 years since Terry Fox dipped his leg in the Atlantic Ocean. He's remembered as a trailblazer who put a national spotlight on cancer research through the Marathon of Hope. But Charlottetown prosthetic technician Paul Hoare says he also changed the game when it came to prosthetics. Before that, it was just a, a general purpose leg. You used it for everything. And then after that, you, I kind of saw more specific things made for one purpose and one purpose only. While preparing for renovations a few months ago, Hoare came across an old knee piece he instantly recognized as the same type used by Terry Fox. He decided to complete a replica of Fox's artificial leg to give people a better idea of the magnitude of his run and show just how far prosthetics have come. I think it would be painful running that far in that leg. And then with the energy he had to use in that leg, like he must have been exhausted. And he wasn't running a 100 meter dash in a modern prosthesis. He was running up hills, he was running on the flats. It took Hoare about two months to put the replica together with most of the time spent on research. But the biggest challenge came in figuring out how Terry's prosthetic ankle was put together because it was almost always covered by a running sock. The finished product is incredibly accurate. The result of painstaking measurements, tracking down discontinued parts and factoring in the length of what was left of Fox's natural leg. Hoare even soaked elastic straps in buckets of tea to give the material an aged look. It's something that had touched him when he was a, was a kid. Um, he brought in newspaper clippings that he had saved in his scrapbook just because he knew that this was going to be something that was important. The Queen Elizabeth Hospital decided to feature the prosthetic in a display dedicated to Fox, and a company donated a modern running leg for comparison. Modern prosthetics like this one are lighter, conserve energy, and are much more comfortable than the one Fox used. One of the only modifications to Fox's leg were elastic straps for his knee, causing his famous hop-skip gait. It would be really interesting to see if he would have had the chance to run on that type of technology, you know, if his journey would have been any different. Terry Fox covered nearly 5,400 kilometers over 143 days during the Marathon of Hope on a leg designed for nothing more than walking on flat ground. While thousands across Canada prepare to run in his name this weekend, Hoare hopes his replica will serve as a testament to Fox's tenacity. Cami Kepke, CTV News, Charlottetown. And for Tenacity, that, I say. indeed. Oh, I, seeing the story gives me a whole new appreciation. He was for in a Terry lot of Fox. pain doing that as well. It was That's uncomfortable, the thing. and you know he never gave up. And uh, he's really a hero. How Thank tough you. did he have to be to get 5,400 kilometers? It's unbelievable. But then when you realize that he was, must have been in, in a lot of, a discomfort, lot of discomfort, if not just flat out pain, the entire journey. But he kept doing it. He sure That's did. What didn't it he? Did.